Mars, the red planet, a desolate yet captivating world that has sparked our imagination like no other. An alien landscape painted with hues of science fiction and harsh realities. But what's the difference between surviving on Mars in the movies versus in real life? Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. And one more thing. Are you really a space adventurer at heart? Then you gotta subscribe. Many of us have been enthralled by fantastic tales of Martian colonies and explorers. From Total Recall to The Martian, these stories portray Mars as harsh, yet somehow manageable, a place where humans can adapt and thrive. But how close are these Hollywood versions to reality? Let's dive in. In science fiction, Mars often undergoes a speedy makeover, turning from a freezing, barren world into a second Earth with breathable air and temperate climates. In reality, it's not so easy. According to current understanding, terraforming Mars could take thousands of years, if it's possible at all. I guess we'll need a little more patience. Water, the elixir of life, and according to sci-fi, Mars is a secret oasis. If we were to believe total recall, there's enough water hidden below the surface to create an atmosphere. Reality, though, is a lot drier. Mars water exists mostly as ice, and liquid water is, well, as rare as a relaxing vacation on Mars. Imagine a world where you can dunk a basketball without breaking a sweat. Well, that's Mars in the movies for you. In reality, Mars has only 38% of Earth's gravity. You'd move differently, and living there could lead to long-term health effects. So you could dunk, but you might also lose bone density. Ah, radiation, the silent killer often forgotten in our favorite Mars movies. Mars' thin atmosphere offers about as much protection from space radiation as a sheet of paper does from a rainstorm. Any real-life Matt Damon's would need serious protection sunscreen won't cut it this time. Who can forget Matt Damon's potatoes in The Martian? If life gives you Martian soil, you grow potatoes, right? Well, not quite. The soil on Mars lacks many nutrients and contains harmful chemicals. Traditional farming is, unfortunately, off the table. However, you could grow food in a controlled environment, so don't ditch your Martian farming dreams just yet. If Mars were a vacation spot, it'd have the worst weather report ever. Storms of dust that cover the whole planet but are less destructive fury and more gentle rustling of leaves due to the thin atmosphere. And speaking of the atmosphere, it's so thin that water would boil away in the open. Yikes! Ever tried having a conversation with a 4-24 to 24 minute delay? And no, I'm not talking about texting teenagers. That's what talking to Mars feels like, not to mention the 6-9 to nine month travel time just to get there. So... If you're thinking of popping over to Mars for a weekend, you might want to rethink your plans last, but not least, the mind games. Sci-fi doesn't always cover it, but the psychological impact of being isolated millions of miles from home would be, well, let's just say you'd want a really good therapist on speed dial. So, there you have it. Living on Mars. Not quite the sci-fi dream, but an incredible challenge that might just be the greatest adventure of the future. Remember, space is not just the final frontier, but a dangerous one. And Mars? It's a world of contrast, cold yet inviting, familiar yet alien, fascinating yet deadly.